everybody welcome back to my channel it's pixie again and if you're new here welcome my name is pixie good morning good afternoon good evening whatever you have me doing when you're watching this every minute fabulously and safely and take care of yourself and loved ones and tonight is another awkward video because i have no idea what to expect from this so i don't know i don't know awkward video if you're new here i am so sorry all i do is awkward i'm not really sorry it's just what i do here and yeah i'm still blonde because it's five days until we leave for our vacation, and I've been doing so much stuff. I crawled in an attic to install new security cameras. Like, I have lots of bruises on my body, and it sucks. But, I've been anticipating this package, but I'm also super nervous. Because I've never ordered from them before. This is an Etsy seller who claims that they will do mystery bags for different genres. And I'm going to pull it up on my computer right in front of me and read the description to you. And then we'll see what I get. So we'll be right back. Okay, so this seller on Etsy... Um, they have four and a half stars and they do bundles like mystery bundles so they have goblin core hello kitty cyber goth goblin core clothing bundle monster high clown core kawaii oh my gosh there's so much uh academia goth fairy cottage core there there's so many so I used to be into the cyber goth type genre when I was in high school, but it was like super expensive to get stuff like cyber dog and you know, like when you go to raver sites now, now it's all festival wear. So I've always been into the neon colors, clearly, if you're not new here, you know. Um, so I did a mini clothing bundle and, oh my goodness, where is it? And then I did a hair accessory bundle. Is that what I did? Oh my gosh. Ugh. Words. Okay. Wow. I'm so prepared. I'm a professional YouTuber. I did the Cyber Goth hair accessory bundle for $10. And then I did the women's clothing size medium mini bundle. And you get one clothing item. I'm still so prepared. Do, 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 do. It claims that everything is thrifted and the mini comes with one top and three accessories including rings, bracelets, necklaces, bangles, earrings, hair clips, hair ties, anklets, and scrunchies. And then I get like, I just did the hair accessory one. Oh my goodness, I keep messing up my computer. I'm so sorry. And then for $10. It just says this hair accessory bundle comes with 10 to 20 mixed hair accessories. So anyways, I'm super scared. But I still like, I hope I got some good stuff. So if, mm, I don't like being disappointed, but I guess it's like a subscription type thing. Like you just don't know what you're going to get. But here is the package. So let's do this. Um, it came pretty quickly. It only took about a week. And... The fact that she says everything is thrifted, I'm that's why I'm skeptical, is because I'm like, how much cyber goth-esque stuff could you actually find at a thrift store from Kansas City? So we're just going to find out together because I'm literally opening it right now. And if I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. I mean, we'll see what we get. So, and when I think cyber goth, I think super neon, UV reactive, glow in the dark, futuristic. That's generally the idea. And then usually there's like hair falls and spiky things and just goth, but with futuristic and modern and we'll see. Okay. So we're just start going just, we're just going to start pulling stuff out. So this must be the one top that I got. And it is by Yushi. And it's just a 
stretchy zip top with lace. Like, it's okay. Can you see the kind of material? It's like that crinkle. So it's not lace. It's still like half mesh. And there's like wire in the collar, which I guess is kind of cool. And I did say a medium. And it just says Yushi. 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 Like sushi, but Yushi. So we'll try that on. It's not really something I would pick out. I guess it's kind of cyber-esque. It's got some modern features to it. I'm not completely disappointed, but we have a little box here. Just unlabeled and taped. There is my, I'm so prepared. This is the worst video ever, but it is also 3.30 in the morning. Handy dandy razor. Okay. We have a sticker. Which doesn't really scream cyber goth to me. And these are cute. Okay. I'm not angry at these little bone clips. So there's a black one and then the alligator clip. So there's two black ones in this little box. And then two white ones. So those are kind of cute. And then we have two skeleton hands, but one is missing a clip. Like this literally doesn't have a clip at all. So, and there's no clip in the box, but it's easily fixable. I'm just thinking like for $30 and $10, <clears throat> I have to fix this myself. So I paid like $40 for this. And then we have, <coughs> God, I'm losing my voice. The pollen outside is terrible. It's awful. I've been dealing with it all week. It's Florida, spring. For $40, I'm not really like feeling this, but at least y'all will know. And then we just have like butterfly clips and daisy clips, which scream more like e-girl to me. I mean, you got the neon down, I can say that, but, and then you just gave me random, they just gave me random, like, the plastic rubber bands, which I have a ton of. I'm pretty upset that this doesn't come with a clip because now I literally have to fix it, but there's the hair accessories. I guess that was what I paid for. And then... That's it? Okay. Thank you, Sarah Pixie. Love Coco. And it just has Designs by Coco Mini Cyber Goth Clothing Bundle Medium Cyber Goth Hair Accessories Bundle. I just don't feel like this is super Cyber Gothy, but it's not like. I don't hate it. Let's open this little last bag. I'm guessing this came with the shirt because it said one top and accessories, and then that was the hair accessories. Maybe when I think of cyber goth, I think like hair falls and super neon stuff, not butterfly clips, but I'm not like super upset yet. And we have a skater. I always call these skater beads, like the chain metal ball bearing necklaces that so you can get at like PacSun. And that just has a little neon green heart, which... My live journal group used to be called Neon Green Heart, so I'm not angry about that, but I could definitely have, you know, I'm a little upset with that. Because it just feels kind of cheap. Like, it's, it's not heavy, is what I'm saying. It's cute. It's just none of this is screaming cyber goth to me. And then we have the little, okay, I actually like these because... Whoop, whoop. Um, down with the clown. So these are more like Juggalo, Juggalette, ICP, down with the clown to me than Cyber Goss. But I will definitely wear these. These are little hatchet earrings. Please focus. And they're just plain silver. So I 
definitely like these. And then there's a hatchet necklace on a red cord. Why are there springs? Like, why are there just random springs? But this is also a little hatchet charm. So I'm not upset with this bag, but none of this screams cyber goth to me. And when she said everything was thrifted in her description, I just, none of this was thrifted. Okay, so maybe, how do I like, I want to be nice about this because I support small businesses and I'm rooting for you, but I don't think that was cyber goth at all. They're just like little accessories. <clears throat> There's no way you thrifted these. No offense, but these are mass produced. You could easily find these on Shein or AliExpress, I'm pretty sure. And the quality of this necklace, like I'm pretty sure the springs are supposed to be up here where the clasps are, not down here. And as for the hair accessories for $10, I don't think that having to fix my own hair clip would be worth $10 because now I have to find a clip and glue it. And then they're just plastic Halloween things. <clears throat> the bone clips are cute. I will wear those. But I could find these at the dollar store. If you're just starting out on a certain style, I can see where this would be appealing, but the other unfortunate thing is the only reviews left by the seller were the other boxes, not like the cyber goth one, like the cottage core, the fairy core, um, <clears throat> brats inspired. So like, I see what you're trying to do, but would I spend $40 again? Probably not. Cause I'm pretty, just that alone having to fix that myself and then just getting these which I still have a ton of from the 90s and the early 2000s not okay I'm disappointed I was gonna say not disappointed but but you didn't thrift this I'm just saying like this is I would say this is a two out of 10 because I just spent $40 expecting like some futuristic stuff and I got generic plastic mass produced stuff that I could have put together in an AliExpress cart or Amazon or something. Cause I'm not gonna not use this stuff. Like I'll definitely wear these, but I'm just, I don't think it screams cyber goth. Because Cybergoth to me is like UV reactive neon orange green pink purple black light stuff. I this screams more skater girl to me. And it's a very cheap like necklace. Like I <sighs> I'm trying so hard to find like a positive light in this. But I that was not forty dollars. That was not forty dollars at all. I, I'm yeah, I'm not happy. So, um, yeah, be wary of your bundles because I know I girl, but hers are like outrageously priced. So I'm not judging her. I understand the work she puts into them, but I felt like this was false advertisement. So anyway, um, yeah, I could have spent the $40 on Shein or Ally for what I got. And a generic black shirt with a zip. I've got like 20 of these in my closet. I guess this would be good if you want to explore the style, but at the same time, like I said, I don't feel like butterfly clips really scream goth, neon goth to me. Um, cyber goth is more futuristic and kind of a crossover with like say neon space and like a little bit of steampunk so it's a little bit of post-apocalyptic i'm pretty like i'm gonna wear these things eventually but you couldn't even give me the clip this came with that fell off of and like why were these hair accessories worth ten dollars no not at all not at all so I'm just going to go back to curating my own style, but I just figured like a little mystery goth unboxing would be fun. 
Um, this shirt might go up in a giveaway because I, like I said, I have a ton of these. So if you like this style, I just, oh, I don't see how it's cyber goth. I think the happiest thing I am about like right now is the little hatchet earrings, but they're definitely not cyber goth because cyber goth doesn't really like creep into the horror side. Um, but because like, I guess it's lucky that I have the hatchet set now because I am a juggalette down with the clown whoop whoop but i would not label any of these things cyber goth actually so lesson learned 40 dollars out and yeah um i hope you're wearing whatever makes you happy and if other people don't like it screw it it's not worth your time because if it keeps them awake at night of what you're, you chose to wear that makes you happy it's not your problem and I will talk to you in the next one. I'm really sorry that this was kind of a disappointing box. Uh, let me know down below in the comments if you see cyber goth anything aside from like the colors of the butterfly hair clips. Like that was the closest you got was the fact that they're neon. But I really don't see anything else that would be considered cyber goth. At least in my old school tiny goth head that I would consider like yes that is definitely futuristic and neon. Butterfly clips and hatchet necklace and earrings, which I'm going to restring this necklace. I already know because I'm pretty sure the springs are not supposed to be down by the necklace, but I'm going to save the charm. I just don't do it. <laughs> I mean, I'll link the seller down below and you can see the reviews, but like I said, like nobody raved about the goth cyber goth unboxing it was the brats and the fairies and favorite color things like that i mean maybe the other boxes are better maybe the person is just trying to like broaden their horizon with their little mystery boxes but i just don't see it i don't it's not what i pictured at all but you do take a gamble with mystery bundles i just figured at least i'm supporting a small business and there was no way you thrifted everything if it comes in packages like this so false advertisement right there maybe you thrifted the shirt maybe maybe that's it but i just yeah i'm gonna end this here i hope you're wearing whatever makes you happy i'll see you in the next one i love you so much bye love you so much awkward pixie out love you bye love you bye love you bye love you bye, love you, bye.